Wow. That's a lot of um, high frequency RF. Actually, that's um, I'm not on RF. I'm on um, electromagnetic. So that's electromagnetic. Here's RF. And that is a shit ton of high frequency RF. To pin above 20 is like fully at least as much as streaming cellular data, like a video on, um, on a cell phone, which is really high. I mean, it's way higher than Wi-Fi. So this is like a cell phone transmitter. It's at least as high if you're close, which you are when you're cooking. So that's fucked up. Like we bought this stove because it's one of the only models. We didn't want this per se. We weren't going for a Bosch or anything. Um, we bought it because it comes on when the power is out. You can still light it. Everything. You can still pretty much use it all. Definitely the stove top. I'm not sure about the oven. Those are hard, harder and harder to find every nowadays, like off grid appliances. Um, a lot of them now don't let you light the stove top. Like gas won't flow when there's no power, which is ridiculous. It's so stupid. So brittle and not resilient um and most of them you can't get the oven lit so yeah pretty crazy and we had one like off-grid model called premiere and it's just a total piece of junk like this isn't that great to begin with for what's supposed to be a nice stove but you know pretty much everything's crap nowadays is what it comes down to so this is um an rf shielding um you know material from uh, we've got a bunch of it right here. It's from lessemf.com. But what I wanted to do was to see if uh, aluminum foil does as good of a job or a pretty good job. Um, so let's see. Now this thing's off, by the way, and you know, it's still just spewing high intensity RF all the time when it's on. And even, you know, to a high degree, if you're six inches away. So now let's see what aluminum foil does. Hold on. I'm gonna try to do this in one file, just for ease of uploading. This is really thin aluminum foil. It's like the green aluminum foil, the eco aluminum foil, if you care. <laughs> Love the branding. Okay, so let's try this. Put this over here. Okay. Okay, hold on. Try this. Okay, so it's definitely not as good. If you're up close. Mm. I mean, it helps a lot. It's knocking the radiation off of this down. It was peaking more than 20, and now it's peaking at, you know, 0.5. So many, many times, dozens of times less uh, electronic pollution coming off this with aluminum foil, but not as good as um, as the OLED EMR shielding. Remember that. See, now if you ground it, like I'm kind of serving as a grounding device with my finger... Uh, it's less. So ideally you ground it. Um, watch this. There. I'll put this on. Okay, so that's... Pretty good. So I'm leaving that on there. And we actually flipped the breaker off at night now. I don't know why it took us so long to think about doing that. Um, we just flip breakers off on any of the outlets. Hold on. Hey, hold on. Um, you know, that are near where we sleep or for the router. Just flip that whole thing off at night. And it turns the fridge off too, which is great because then we're using less electricity. Okay, hold on. Hold on a sec. Hold on a minute. And so it ends up saving a lot of power, which is great. 
LastCMF.com sells this stuff. If you're not concerned about this, great. Stand, you know, put your crotch up against us for 12 hours a day and do a little research for us or leave your phone on streaming data all night next to your head. I don't really want to hear the comments about, you know, that there's no proof about this. It just means you haven't done your research because there is, in the U.S., the only measurement of electronic pollution from cellular or related is for tissue heating, which is... Bio, all biologists know that tissue heating is only one effect of electronics on living creatures because we're electronic beings. This is a tri-field meter, by the way. It works good. It's not terribly expensive, but it seems quite accurate or at least relatively accurate. 